Welcome to Modding with Lord Cyclone with Feed the Beast Ultimate. Welcome back, y'all. This is Lord Cyclone. We're here on the farm today because we're going to build ourselves some machines. But first, I'd like to show you a tour of what we did last time. Let's get on down. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Hell yeah, girlfriend. Snap, snap. I, I can't really snap. I'm bad at it. Snap. I, I don't, I can't have black sass, basically. Anyway, you went from, uh, something Stop. to something else. I don't know why. Shh, shh, shh. No one has to know. It's a secret. So, uh, today, we, uh, I'll show you around, then we're gonna build some machines so we can start processing all the crap we dug up during the, uh, off time. So, we got uh, ourselves a perimeter now. So we can keep all those nasty mobs out from all the creepers that blew up our stuff yesterday or last time. Yee! We got some uh, regular trees. We got our rubber tree farm. Uh, we got ourselves a factory that has nothing in it whatsoever. Woohoo! So we got ourselves uh, furnaces. Good stuff, good stuff. Awesome. And we got some corn flax. Um, I'm only growing these two things, um, because, uh, corn's an extremely good source of food. Because the seeds and the corn itself can be eaten. And flax, because we're gonna, we'll, you can always use flax, you can always use string. String's always useful. Nom nom. Let's go harvest some of this extra stuff. So, um, we're gonna use probably a couple mods today. We're going to use um, Industrial Craft 2, which, if you don't know, is basically a bunch of machines to help your, make your life easier. And also, there's a few other things that are added to it, but we're not going to talk about today. And we're going to use Thermal Expansion, which is also machines that can that are supposed to improve your production and lives and whatnot. Um, we're going to use IC2 for power. And we're going to use thermal expansion for the actual machines because thermal expansion has better output. So, oops, crack the table. So basically, um, the Anizer is going to build ourselves the power, the IC2 stuff because he knows it better than I do. And I'm going to do the thermal expansion stuff. And then we're going to connect the machines together using something called an electric furnace. Yeah, electric furnace. Which will be, or not, not furnace, electric engine. Oops. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, anyways, let's, let's begin. I'm going to have Dionyzer uh, build machines while I go get some supplies. All right, then. Do I have any pulverizer? All right, I need to make a piston. Oh. Oh no, we make some pistons. Build ourselves an electric furnace then. Let's see. Yep. Oh, poop. <laughs> Crap, I didn't even get everything. Pulverizer. Um, so this machine I'm about to build is called Pulverizer, which is basically if you played mods before. You know that a lot of machines will actually like double your output of uh, of of ingots by first masering or crushing or whatever in your uh, ores into two dust per ore, and then you can, each of those dust will actually smelt into an ingot. But what's interesting about pulverizer is that some of the things you can pulverize have like output like uh, interesting outputs. For instance, um, if you were to pulverize some copper. There's a chance of get gold dust, which obviously will become gold ingot, and tin will actually become uh, tin, or it can produce extra iron dust. So, like I could show you, I'll show you a few things on my camera, like for instance, say like see for iron. For yeah, there's just a bunch of different things that can come out. Like netherrack can produce sulfur, which is used for explosives. Um, what else? Interesting. Yeah, also from blaze powder. Also, the pulverizer is more efficient than IC2 macerators because for some recipes, like to, to if you pulverize bone to bone meal, you produce six of the bone or four of the 
Blaze Powder instead of with the Mace Rider, which is only five and three. Uh, we can make some various metals, which is useful for other machines. Okay, so yeah, I see there's copper. If you make it, there's a chance of producing gold, which is really awesome. And Awesomeness! Tin can, and tin can also produce iron. There's a bunch of stuff. Uh, what else? Tin, iron. Yeah, basically all different tin ores from different mods, but we only have one of them turned on. Uh, silver can produce lead, and I believe lead can also produce silver. It should be here somewhere. Lead to silver. Lead into silver. Lead, lead. Anyways, <laughs> I guess we don't, maybe don't have lead as an ore. Anyways, uh, so to build the pulverizer, let's see, we, I should have like a bunch of stuff in here because we, we have like a bunch of different things we knew we were going to build. And now we have one electric furnace. Okay, so he, he built an electric furnace, which I'll show the uh, recipe real quickly. As a tin ingots, it's just a bunch of tin meshed together, and then we got some glass and a piston. Nothing too, nothing that expensive, I guess. Anyways, while I go gather materials for the three for the other machines I'm gonna build, uh, I'll leave. I'll let the Anizer uh, show us a few things. And now we build a generator. Only hard part is the RE battery. Uh, I that for Make some machine frames. There you go, machine frame. Now I'm going to build like three, I'm going to build three different machines. So I need a, a uh, machine block for each one or a machine, what call it? machine frame for each one. Also, I need way more gold because I need to make a, uh, I think each one needs a wrist on receiver. If you're missing anything, I probably have it. Okay. Well, I'm pretty, as long as you didn't take every, yeah, I don't have any copper, any copper for my machines. Put it back in the box. There you go. Really up. So I could build the first one. Oh, I need reception coils. I guess the other, the other machines I'm going to make are a sawmill, which is basically a way to produce more wood <clears throat> output. Yeah, I need a reception coil for that. And I'm going to make an, Induction smelter, which I'm pretty sure also need. Yeah, I need one of those too. And something called Ingvar ingot, which uh, I need a pulverizer to make. So crap on us. So I'll make the first two machines, then we'll make a system so I can make the third machine. And I keep forgetting the recipe because I'm going to build. Oops. Yeah, I always have to look, re look up the stuff too. Uh, three of those. There. And a piston and voila, pulverizer. And now I need to now I get to do this. Oh. For sawmill, yeah, that's what I thought. So, iron axe, a frame, some wood. Yeah, and we finally have a generator. You have you have all you have the machines done yet? I have a generator and an electric furnace so far. 
Okay. Um, well, I'll make some extra wires and start putting the pieces or pieces down. So well, I have some extra wire here. Just puke it out. It's okay. I'll I'll take in the face. Just 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 do it, man. Get it over with. Ah, that's disgusting. It's all slimy. <laughs> um, the sawmill. Uh, I was. I guess I'll just hang it on the wall. Hold it. The pulverizer and the induction smelter. I want to probably uh, put together. But I still need everything to be able to be reached by uh, power. Um, these machines could be broken with like a pickaxe with a with no loss, which is also why they're better than IC two machines. So those little bastards need a, you know, yeah, a wrench. Yeah, that stupid wrench. Uh, all right, I need. Those and if somewhere. you want to give them back a hundred percent, you have to uh, use an electric wrench. Sack the moon. Uh, I need to make some wooden and cobblestone. All right, let's make an extractor. I'm gonna make some pipe. Do I need stone? Oh, may I need stone? Is there uh, stone in there? Yeah, there's stone. Do you need any of it? Cause I took all of it. No, I I grabbed stone before you. I have a stack. We need also... I need... Uh, since we're using an engine, I'm going to have to get some way to power the other machines. So I need to make a... Let's see. Plank. Okay, so I, that one's plank. So I should be able to do that one. All right. Machine block. And I need one of them to be a conductive one. There you go. So... Yeah, actually, Four T-taps. Pretty shaky position. Have to go grab me some wood. Man, these things are take a while to break. Actually, even with an iron pickaxe. Uh, what else do I need? I totally forgot what I was doing. All right, I need stone transport pipes now. Be That's because you be a dirt. Shut up! <laughs> oh, I totally did that ratio wrong. I actually need one cobblestone, two or two cobblestones and one glass, which would make more sense. Not really. I don't know what makes sense in this game anymore. Wait, what? Ah, oh, shit! Don't tell me there's. No, let me see. So. Oh wow, there's no such thing as a cobblestone conductive pipe. Oops. I made those from I made that was a waste. <laughs> I actually need stone. There you go. Now I should be able to make conductive out of it. You'd like to poop out some of that copper cable back to me. Uh I know in the future we're going to have a solar panel, so I'm going to make a hole in the wall for that. There you go. Hey, buddy. Y'all want to come inside? Screw you, man. <laughs> um... Do you have the end? Yeah, how many of the machines do you have done? I'm just, just finishing up the extractor. Just, just put, just toss it all on me, man. It's okay, I could take it. One sec. Give me a sec. Let me finish up this extractor. Uh, three taps, machine block, an electric circuit. Yeah, now we have an elect or extractor. Actually, we need coal. And a generator, and an electric furnace. Perfecto. 
Okay. Wait. Wait, weren't you supposed to make an electric engine? You said IC2 stuff. It's electric engine also, IC2? Well, we need a, we need it so we can connect the two machines together. I'll make an electric engine then. Oh, also we need a battery box. All right, bat box. Let me. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start wiring everything else and assuming we have the engine done. It shouldn't be that bad. I think I can just drop stuff. Oops. So electrical engine. We need a piston, a tin gear, a tin gear, glass. And tin. Oh, uh, I'll just make a wall pipe, and then we can put the machines wherever the hell we want. So apparently, we need a lot of tin. Let's see a sawmill and a pulverizer. And once we get the electric engine, we should be able to do that part. Um, maybe I should keep this clear just a little bit. Uh, put some wire down. Oh, let me go. Oh, uh, oops, let me go dump some of the stuff I have. Jeez, there's enough steps to make a freaking tin gear. We don't have enough tin? No, just you have to make first a wooden gear, then a stone gear, and then finally the tin gear. <laughs> uh, let's see. I might as well look at what I need for the third machine, because I know I'm going to have to make it anyway. But the only problem is I need power so I could actually make one of the ingredients. Oh, I need a bucket. And, uh, need two copper also. Yeah. I'm going to... Oh, wait. We can make a bucket here. We should have enough iron. Oops. No. Pick up. Pick up. Ah, oh, you got the bucket. <laughs> Patooey. Uh, I came back to you. Patui said, "Patui." It's it must have been one of those loogies that just can't break off. Like you can like almost drop it to the floor and it still is connected. Ew! It screws. Bucket loogie. Uh, let me see if I can figure out all these machines. So, bat box is gonna be here. I could probably put the extractor here. Uh, I'll put. We can. I mean, we we can use the furnace too, because uh, just in case we don't have enough sand for the induction smelter. So battery bar here. And okay, so I have I have place for your for the bat box now. Yeah, we'll see if we have enough tin here. Hopefully. Well, if not, we just smelt some more. We have, we should have a good amount. Uh, I'll, I'll get the generator started up, so at least it's ready to go. Um, you, you, you want me to make the bat box? Oh, we have a piston. Good. Yeah, make the bat box. Okay. Um, and I need some glass. Do we have some glass in? Yeah, there should be in the chest here. I didn't see glass in there. Was there? Uh, crap. Uh, make, get a lot of tin. A lot of it. I need, I need to make three batteries. I don't have enough tin. There we go. Uh, I need 12 tin on top of it. Alright, I grabbed a stack of tin ore. Yeah, just, just melt it off. Here, I'll get the, I'll, I'll get one of the things started. The the lower right hand one. Did I throw it a ten hour or something? Oh Jesus. Actually do you like maybe do half a stack, because we can mace the other half later. Alright, just pull it out. Yeah I did. Uh <laughs> Good, we got like all the machines except for the actual power source. Awesome. <laughs> um, so <laughs> the electric uh, engine, 
basically will convert uh, EUs into Minecraft fuels, and it maxes its it maxes production at two Minecraft fuels a second, or tick. Sorry, there's no seconds in Minecraft. It's all ticks. And I realized I could probably make a switch or a lever so we could turn on the engine when we need it. Uh, the cool thing about the engine, it can't overheat like a lot of engines can. I, th I thought it was sticking stone. Or is it sticking a cobblestone? I'm not a dumbass. Um, Why is there a thing of gold ore just stuck on the barrel over here? Oh, uh, don't ask questions. <laughs> and I don't see any glass over here either. There's, I, there's like some in this chest. I see where like, in, next to the wood planks in the chest. Sticks and stones make an effing lever. Other way. There you go. This is for the uh, engine when it's made. Apparently, I was blind as a freaking bat. It's okay. I expect it for me at this point. Now it's getting fucked up. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go get some stuff to make the extractor useful. Oh, uh, maybe I should make some. Tra uh, nah, we don't have enough machines. Yeah, I was thinking I could make a transposer, but we we like don't even have like enough machines to make it worthwhile. Nope. Maybe in the maybe in the future uh, episode we'll do some transposers and make this into an automated factory, but for now we need a basic factory. You have the engine. I'm I'm ready for it. Okay, so all right, I'll, I was one making the bat box. Oops, I should probably do that. Uh, <laughs> so a bat box needs uh, I don't remember. I haven't done icy two forever. I was playing bolts recently a lot, but uh, I don't like bolts too much. Uh, how much tin do we have? Oh, perfect. Stop production. Oh, and I have 12 pieces still. Oh, poop. then we overproduce in tin. Oh, that's what, whatever. We'll just make up for it later. Actually, you know what? I'll put the tin right now, like in the pulverizer, so it's ready to go, so we can start macing it or pulverizing it. Maybe we'll get lucky and get some tin. I mean, uh, iron. So we need three, two, four. Only three. Have some nom nom. Mm, delicious. I hope I don't get poison. I'm surprised that pork can or pork can still uh you can eat it still without any side effects. Cause I chick, know. Cause raw chicken now you you get get sick from it. But why not beef or pork? Well, beef you could technically eat raw. You can. It's uh, it's one of the things you can just eat. It's not like a big deal. Uh, yeah, as long as it's fresh. Yeah. Oh, obviously, you can't eat anything unless it's fresh, or processed so much that the preservatives will kill everything, including your insides. Fat fuck. Okay, the moment of truth. I cannot mess up putting this piece of crap down. Uh, to crap. And I you did, up. didn't you? I messed up. Now you need a wrench. Yep, that's that's how awesome I am. I don't even know which one. There's like ten wrenches. Uh, it's probably this one. Uh, let me see. Bronze or bronze. Uh, okay, I... Yeah, it should be the one next to the electric wrench. Okay, I have an idea. Uh, hand me, uh, hand me some... Do you have any more wires? Uh, three. That should be enough. You know, the magic part of IC2, we can ignore the fact that there's an engine. Look, everything's okay now. <laughs> and... Start that engine... Is it getting power? There we go. Yay! It's going. And our pulverizer should start getting power soon. Or maybe the sawmill gets it first? Is it? And the engine stopped? 
Okay, no one touched it. No, leave it on. Wait, I think it's just slow right now. Yeah, but it's not doing anything. The extractor is using the power. Son of a bitch extractor. Uh, Let's kill it, because we don't really need it. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we don't really need rubber right now, anyway. I know, (laughs) right? The The extractor was using up all the power. Oh, right. Uh, to make the third machine, actually, I need the pulverizer to pulverize this ore called ferrous ore. The only way you can pulverize it is using this machine. And is the sawmill taking all the power? Yeah. Uh, what annoying crap. Uh, <laughs> I have to take out the sawmill. It's taking all the power. I'll put it right after the pulverizer instead. So let's see, each process, it should take, so it's building up power. I hope it's actually working. Uh, Pulverize doesn't seem to be working. Maybe it needs more power. I mean, no fuel. Oh, the, uh, oh, you know what? The bat box is filling up. It's using up all the power. We're we're kind of stuck for a little bit. Once the bat box is full, we can actually start, uh, doing everything. Uh, should should we go to the village? And I saw like a, a dungeon in the village, like, uh, when I was over there, maybe we should go check it out. Chewing. You have food and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, kill or let's go take over a dungeon. Might want to go grab another sword though. I think I have another sword in my chest. Yeah. Actually, if we don't make an iron sword, because we're gonna need the power. Well, All right. The... Make make one for both of us then. Okay. I'll, I'll I already have one, so I'll just make one for you. Uh, I'll make you, uh, no, we don't have the iron yet. I was about to say I should make you a helmet, but, uh, you're just gonna have to suck it up. <laughs> for now. Um, I'll bring an iron pickaxe, because I know for a fact we're gonna have to break in. I saw, like, a, a fence or whatever. Okay, I have a sword for you. Where are you? Ugh. I do sword swallowing. I just peeped it up. Time to fight! It was weird though. This I didn't see this temple until recently. Like I, I remember when I first saw the village, I didn't see a temple there. I know we totally missed it somehow. Yeah, we ran all over that freaking village, man. Uh, I'm not going to waste my my energy for now. We wasted that, like, 20 minutes running around village. I know. So, yeah, here's a really inconspicuous mound with, like, an obvious entrance. Okay, uh, the monsters in there are pretty damn strong, so you have to be careful. Actually, you know what? I'm going to break in from the side. Why not? I saw, like, a wall here. We'll go, surprise! Ooh, I hear them. Okay, the chest is below. Oh, you know what? We forgot to bring it up. They picked up their own meat. That's great. Oh, this was much easier to control than I thought. Oh. Easy so- one, apparently. Uh, I'll start looting the chest. Ed- Ooh, Ender Pearl dust. That's that could be really useful. Knowledge fragments, which is slum crap. Eh, that was kind of sadly easy. I thought there'd be something worse in here. 
We should bring. We should uh, if we put uh, torches around the zombie one. We can have the. We can come back here to farm the, uh, the uh, skeletons. Because then we can farm bones. This is awesome for like uh, lots of stuff. Oh crap! I'm dying. What's Ender Pearl dust? Um. Well, it's Ender Pearl. Anything is good, but I don't really know what it does per se. I didn't even know there was such a thing. Yeah, I appreciate one like the thousand freaking mods we have as it. Come on up, buddy. I re I reload all the chests. I took the actual chest, though. Did you? What? What hit me? Me. You saw about that, buddy. You son of a bitch. I was down to two hearts and afraid of my life. We want to escape from that prison. Uh, oh, piggies. Die, sons of bitches. I want your meat. Well, no, we should probably have bred them. Not too late now. There's like plenty of pigs in the forest, right? Yeah, there's so many animals in the forest, man. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let my hearts reach out a little bit. Sounds like a plan. Uh, I'm just, I'm gonna go ahead and check on our uh stuff. Hopefully the pulverizer has enough power to run, instead of having all its power being sucked up by the uh battery box. <laughs> yeah. Watch out for thy spiders. I think they're. The, I think you're the one who's in trouble. Oh, they might jump the border too. Now I'm gonna leave the fence open. Why? Well, so oh, you for me. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna still come for you, though. Uh, I'll check on the machines since they like you more. Oh yeah, they're trying to jump through. Ah, jeez. Okay, so I got the okay. I got half of the stuff we're good, we need. Perfect. I killed them though. Pulverizer working now. Yep, yeah, has enough power. And this chest of crap is full of crap. Okay, so now I just need to mace one uh, iron ore. And then I can make something, I can make the Envar ingot, which is what we need for the, uh... Actually, it's a good thing you made it first, because we, we don't have any way to smelt yet without using a coal still. So, good accidental machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pulverizer is nice and full of power. Although, I'm pretty sure the power will drain quicker than, we're, than we can uh, provide it for now. But that's okay. Um, uh, let's kill the engine, though. I don't want to waste power. Can't, funny, we can't actually make a wrench right now, because we need dust. So I got some delicious Angbar blend, which sounds like some sort of coffee. What's up? Okay, good. The electric furnace can actually smelt it. I can never be so, sure with these. So the pulverizer does basically the same thing as the macerator, right? Right. With some added extra fun stuff? Um, actually, uh... Okay, so I got the Ingvar ingot perfect. That's exactly what I needed. Ingvar? What's Ingvar? Ingvar. With a V. It's used... It's it's how to make the third machine, which is the, uh... Induction smelter. I need some. Different kind of copper. Just because we just happen to have it... So it's an induction. Oh yeah, fuck it. Well, since we were since we went to a dungeon, I found a, another chest, uh, or I found like another thing, but it's a thong, It's one of those thong craft shrines, and it's really, really like I need someone to help me get to it. Eh. Eh. 
Okay, so this thing is an induction smelter. The the upside is that it will actually uh, it'll smell a bunch of different things. That all the downsides you need sand to to use it. So we gotta dig up lots of sand then. Well, the nice thing though is we can use a pulverizer to uh, pulverize the sand or our cobblestone to sand. So we basically have a way to power our machine. So it's not a big deal. Um. Where's our ingots? Though, so, I think cobblestone takes longer to dig up than sand. But we have so much of it. We have like three barrels full of it. True. We don't have, we don't have to dig it up anymore. I went crazy, man, last time. In your region. Um, uh, what's... Well... Wait, how come I have another... Oh, I have a steel sword. Ooh, sexy. What? Steel sword. You made a steel sword? When? No, I found it in the one of the chests. Oh, nice. Okay, um, I found a Thomcraft shrine close by. We should check it out also. But be careful, because the whips will rape us if we're not careful. The whips? They're like, they're like, they're like red pixie things that just zap you. And it's really nasty. Oh, buddy. Oh, yeah. The wisp. Ready to go? Mmm, zombie brain. Mmm. Bonecraft goodness. Uh, eh, maybe we should wait a minute. Or no, we'll just run towards it. Looks like, oh, looks like it's, it's sunny enough that mobs are starting to burn. Uh huh. I know your tricks. Just watch out for that spider. Now to get to the shrine, I couldn't get from the front face. We have to go around. Watch out for that creeper. Where? Stop Alone. following you. Luckily. It, yeah, it likes you more. No, I think we're all good now. Okay, so we should be able to climb up here. Well, not here. It's Where is it? Oh, water. Perfect. We can ride the water up like gods. Oh, what's at the top there? Yeah, top is. Bloop, bloop. This is very, very slow, man. And it's better than that. Well, it's, I could. I don't think. I don't know about another way to get up, really. Well, I'm, there must be some sort of mountain face somewhere. Oh, this is not in vain, though. Uh, it might be. Uh, we're we're going to scale a mountain today. And I oh wait I have a pickaxe I could we can actually take up. We can still go further up, can't we? So. Yeah, but it just leads to a dead end. I'll just do some like old school mining tricks to get up. Now hopefully the wisp will target one of us, so the other guy can run towards the chest. Because it can kill us pretty quickly. If we're not you go, Wee! Do you see the hole I made? Yeah, I'm right behind you. How big is this hole? That's what <laughs> she said. Uh, I guess it's more like what's that's what he said. Classic Mike failure. Uh, I don't see a wisp. Yep, you fail, Mike. What? What do you mean we? I fail. I actually got us up here. Oh my god, the portal gun! Hell yeah! Ah. Oh crap! What? Oh, there's a portal gun in. 
Ow. Ow. Ah. Run away. Run away. Oh, God. Where's the hole? Where's the hole? We lost the hole. Oh, there it is. Run. So, was that the only thing in the chest? No, nah, there's a bunch of other BS. But it's the coral gun is what we really want. That was the only good thing in there? Yeah. So I can do this now. Ah! <laughs> I messed up. You missed! No, I when you, I jumped back into the hole. Whee! Whee! Ah, jeez. I jumped back into it, too. Ah, oh, now you got rid of it. There you go. Uh, I fell all the way down anyway, it's in the water. It was probably quicker without the portal. Uh... Okay, um, I guess this is a good this is a good time to end the video. We got ourselves a nice portal gun now, which apparently turned blue. At least it was like that, whatever. One of those like bugs. I think it just gives you like random colors. Well, I know the I, I know the portal gun portals are the same color depending on which uh that gun that oh wow, that was a pretty cool portal. Hat shortcut. <laughs> we Well that's what So uh we're gonna probably end the video here. I'm pretty sure we went past our our uh our our decided time anyway. And we'll see you all next time and we'll try we'll uh start making some more advanced machines and maybe start abusing this portal gun a little bit. Sounds good. Magic. Over now, good yes. buddy. Yeah, one last thing. Infinite loop, we Bye, everybody. Over and out.